so Keith, what are you seeing? What are others doing? What are other charities doing from your purview? Um, sure. Are they stalling? Well, are they canceling? Hey, don't What's use that on? language on this webinar. That's, that's <laughs> not allowed. That's uh, the word cancel or postpone. That's uh, we're going to try and hopefully get everybody to realize that that's not your best option here today. Those are those are those are bad words here. We're going to try not to use those. No, seriously. Um, obviously, that's an option, but you know the reality is, you know. You know, hopefully we'll convince you that canceling or postponing or doing nothing. Um, we have better options than that. That's the goal today. So what we're seeing is that people are reevaluating their, their, a lot of options. They're reevaluating their venues. You know, should we, can we keep it indoor? Should we move outdoor? Um, if we do it indoor, can we, how can we increase the spacing and the airflow, things like that? Um, they're considering their event format, obviously. Should we keep doing in person? Should we go virtual, some kind of hybrid, perhaps uh, watch parties? So we're going to kind of address all those. But one way or another, what we're seeing is that the, you know, our, our strongest organizations are adapting, they're moving forward. And the reality is, you know, there's a couple of realities here. One is you need the money. I've had one nonprofit in my entire career in 25 years and over 1,400 events uh, that I've done who has told me, you know what, we're not doing an event because we don't need the money. So unless you're that client, then, hey, congratulations. But I, I just don't hear that. So, um, you know, so one, everybody needs the money. And two, equally importantly, Donors are there. They want to give you the money and they are feeling wealthy. Like I, I just, I, I can't emphasize that enough. You know, needy, I'm kind of going off script here, but one thing I want to bring up was in the great recession in 20, uh, in 2007, eight and nine, what we found is my business grew tremendously because more people were doing auctions just because they had to, there's no other way to make money. So they, you know, and that at least worked, but they were really hard in, in the great recession. Our auctions were hard. People weren't feeling wealthy. We put, you know, you know, I remember you felt like you're begging for money every time on stage and just every last dollar you're begging for. Now we're kind of the opposite. A lot of groups aren't doing events. They're kind of thinking, well, let's wait and see. But events are going spectacularly well. I can't emphasize enough how much, particularly our in person, but even our virtual events, how well they're doing. And I'd love to say, oh, it's because of me. It's not. It's not because of me. It's not because of the software. It's not because of uh, any of these things. It's because people are can't believe how rich they feel right now. I mean, anybody, most of your donors probably own real estate. They probably own their homes. They probably have stocks or retirement accounts or something. You know, I was just at an event in uh, Lake Tahoe, chatting with some folks. Their house doubled in value in the last four years up there. Again, they just couldn't believe how wealthy they are. And a lot of people, particularly in Northern California, but really across the country, can't believe how wealthy they are right now. And so, and the good news is, they're, as a result of that, primarily, they're being incredibly generous. And we're seeing that across the board. So, but, you know, great recession, a lot of auctions, but harder to get money out of people now. Fewer auctions, but really easy to get money out of people. And I think the other thing is because there's fewer events, people aren't going to, you know, they're, they're not spread as thin between different events. So if you have an event, if you ask them for money, they're just so much more likely to, uh, to A, say yes, and more importantly, be generous at your event, you know, because, because they have the money and, and they're not getting pulled in a lot of different directions. No, totally. I agree. I think donors are very empathetic. They are very mindful of, you know, what needs to be done in the world. And again, from charity standpoint, it's always easier to keep a supporter than to go acquire a new one. So you want to keep that relationship going and inculcate. Right, that, that is true. And not, not to you. sprinkle some fear on that too, but if, if, if they don't give you money, they're going to give somebody money. And so that's <laughs> the other thing we always say is in some mm -hmm. ways, being sure you do something or hold an event is defensive. It's as much to you know, acquire resources as to make sure people don't go elsewhere and, you know, drop their resources elsewhere. No, and I think the numbers, the industry numbers say that as well, right? So last year, uh, $471.44 billion were raised, right? Which is a 5% increase over 2019. So the giving has definitely gone up. So Nidhi, I want to think about that for a second. So last year, Half a trillion dollars in this country alone went to charitable causes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Pushing yes. half a trillion dollars. And, <laughs> and by the way, that's almost 25 at a 5% increase over 2019. Mm -hmm. Just not to get two numbers, dive into the numbers too deeply, but that's almost 25 billion more in a, in, in a okay. time of pandemic, $25 billion more in this country was donated to charitable causes in 2020, which are the latest numbers versus 2019. Now, 18 months ago, I'm not sure anybody suspected that, or and, and I think a lot of us weren't sure what would happen, but uh, now mm -hmm. the proof is in, irrefutable. Events are working both in person on, and online, and that's kind of what we're hoping to uh, kind of share some, go a little deeper on that today. So.